Hello, everybody. My name is Copix, and welcome to me teaching you how to do the Sebastian Michaelis impression. Because, why? Because <laughs> I'm simply one hell of a YouTuber. I'm glad to see you. Are you glad to see me? I hope so. Because I'm super glad to see you. Hey, by the way, did you notice I, I did this? I'm sorry for the spastic change. I recorded a couple of things before I put this up, which, you know, you have people over, so you kind of change things around, but there's also a set schedule for what's coming out when. So, sorry if there's this background, and the lights, and it's kind of intermittent throughout all the videos. The continuity isn't quite right. I'm sorry, okay? I have to record in a certain way called I have people over, I have time to record this, I don't have time to record that, and I do stuff. You know? Just jump right into the Sebastian impression. The first thing that you have to do is you just gotta listen and practice. You just gotta listen and practice the impression. No matter how bad it is, you're gonna get better with just basic practice. What I pulled up when I was learning this, I pulled up Sebastian Michaelis' Funny Moments Englished Up. Because it was just a 15 minute video of just Sebastian talking and saying funny things. And the funny things are like the most memorable things. So, I listened to that, I had the voice ready in my head, and my impression would be better. In fact, I would suggest that even if you've been doing this impression for years, that you just take like a couple of minutes to listen to a compilation of his voice, just for a little bit, so you have it fresh in your mind. I don't do that because I'm lazy. That's not an excuse, it's just a fact. <laughs> but I listened to it for this video, I did. And I will leave a link in the description if you want to watch it yourself. You have the line, they just he just said it, you repeat it. I'm going to be using the famous line, one of his famous catchphrases, I'm simply one hell of a butler. So you keep saying, I'm simply one hell of a butler, in your voice. But then you hear it, and you're just like, I'm simply one hell of a butler. I'm simply one hell of a butler. I'm simply one, I'm simply, I'm simply one hell of a butler. You know, you practice, you practice, and it gets better. Then you move on to step two, which is the biggest thing. Like, that, that's where everyone starts. Step two is the biggest problem that I see with beginning impressionists who do this impression, which is that they use their throat too much. Because a lot of people use their throat to make them sound deeper. Because you use your throat to talk. It kind of makes sense, except if you ever took chorus. If you take chorus, you know that using your throat is very bad for you. If you force a lot of things on your throat, it'll get damaged really quickly. Maybe not permanently, but it can be. So don't do it. It doesn't sound good to begin with, and it isn't good for you overall. Instead of using your throat, use your chest. Your chest voice, as they say. Here's an example of chest voice versus throat voice. I'm simply one hell of a butler. I'm simply one hell of a butler. I'm simply one hell of a butler. See the difference? It doesn't sound good. It's the same pitch. It doesn't sound good. Your diction is off, which is your ability to pronounce things. I'm still working on it, but it's doing better. But with your throat using it like this, you sound like your Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, and then eventually you start to sound like something else. Yoda, probably. A very bad Yoda impression. But don't do it. Don't do Yoda bad like that, man. Just don't do it. And then on to step three, which is really more like 3A, which is you gotta find the right tone, the right pitch for Sebastian. You go, I'm simply one hell of a butler. No, too low. I'm simply one hell of a butler. It's too high. I'm simply, I'm sim, 
Oh, um, I'm, I'm simply one hell of a butler. You get it. You know, you, you practice that. And then eventually, it takes a while. It takes a while. But eventually you get to a point where you can kind of just jump right into the perfect pitch. Pitch perfect. And then on to 3B, after you have that good, is going into the British accent. Sebastian has a very, very proper British accent. So you have to learn how to do a very proper British accent. So let me quickly take you through how to do a good, proper BBC British accent, known as the RP British accent. With the American accent, most of us talk pretty much right in the front of our mouths. We say, ah, and we say, t, right, right in the, la, la. your tongue is right behind your two front, your front teeth when you talk. With the British accent, it's more rounded and more in the middle of your mouth with how you pronounce things. So you have to get used to that. And then just listening to people talk in a British accent. Just watch movies <laughs> of people who actually have a British accent. You know, just talk and you, you pick up what words are pronounced like in Britain rather than in the US. In the American accent, it's accent. In the British accent, it's accent. So, a good little phrase that I learned that was pretty good to help you with your R's and a bunch of other uh, pronunciations is, there are more birds. 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 I'm simply one hell of a butler. I'm simply one hell of a butler. But once you got that down, you move on to step four. Step four is learning the character. This is also going to be an A and B. Step four A is you learn the Sebastian character. Sebastian, in my opinion, is very tired of the world because it's very predictable. Humans are predictable for him. So he's kind he's kind of always, you know, ready to yawn at everything. He knows he could beat up anybody at any second. It does, things don't phase him. Just cold turkey about everything, pretty much. Instead of talking like, Murciel, I suppose, I, yes, I will go get your tea. He's more like, yes, my lord, go get your tea. Okay, your tea is done. Here you go. You know, he's kind of like, ugh. Is my shift over yet? A fun little thing that I learned was to come up with 10 adjectives to describe your character. So come up with 10 words that describe Sebastian, and that will help you get better uh, in the mindset of Sebastian. 4B is learning how to do the character of J. Michael Tatum. J. Michael Tatum, for those who don't know, is the guy who voices Sebastian in the English dub. If you want to learn how to do the Japanese version, I don't know what he sounds like. Ooh, learn for somebody else. I mean, I can teach you later if you wanted to. I'll figure out how to do that impression and I'll tell you if you want, but I don't know how to do his impression. It's hard to do. I don't know how to speak Japanese very well. Like, I, d I don't know the mannerisms, which makes it hard to do the British Sebastian, or which makes it hard to do the Japanese Sebastian because you have to learn then the Japanese character, uh, voice actor as a character, which means you have to know how to properly speak the Jap, how to properly speak Japanese, not anime Japanese, actual proper Japanese. So, I'm just teaching you how to do J. Michael Tatum English one. To learn J. Michael Tatum, there's two really, just two main things you gotta know about him. Uh, one is that he's gay. He does the gay thing. 
not the super gay thing. You know, he doesn't really do it. You know, it's just not that weird. You know, he doesn't do this gay voice. Not, not this flamboyant gay voice. He does the slightly sassy gay voice. He doesn't do the very sassy gay voice, but he has a sassy gay voice. Just a little bit. So you have to give Sebastian a little bit of gay sass. Sebastian himself is not gay. But J. Michael Tatum is. So sprinkle it in there in your impression. For some of you, that'll be very fun. For some of you, that'll be very, very, very awkward. And the second thing is that J. Michael Tatum and his British impression, his British accent, sounds like an American doing a British accent. To me, his British accent is the Queen's English, but extremely over the top. It, it sounds like an American trying a little too hard to do a British accent. Which, don't get me wrong, it's a pretty good accent. I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm saying that I can tell that it's an American doing a British accent. So I personally try on purpose to make it sound like an American doing a British accent. Unfortunately for me, it's really easy for me to take it a little too far because if I do too much of it, then I get really lazy with the accent, which is the problem that I have. I've hit like the peak of my impression. There's learning it, there's your best point the best time you've ever done it. And then you just get lazy with it. And I'm, I'm getting lazy with it. Um, so, you know, I, I don't always keep up a very good British impression because here's my British accent. If I was trying to do a British accent, I was trying to say, I'm simply one hail of a butler with everything I've learned so far. This doesn't quite sound like Sebastian even though it's got a little bit of gay in it, even though it's the right pitch, even though it's got the right character into it, it doesn't quite sound like Sebastian, because it doesn't quite sound like an American doing a British accent. So you kind of have to sprinkle that in there, which is kind of easy because then I just relax a little bit on the British accent. After you've passed 3B, you, you, you pretty much are getting into the nitty gritty you are so now, now we're just into like these small details the things that'll set you apart from all the other people doing the Sebastian impression so to recap step one is just listen to examples from the internet of him just talking and then just try to copy it step two is to use your chest, not your throat. Step 3A is making sure that you have the right pitch in your throat. The right pitch that Sebastian has, that J. Michael Tatum has. Step 3B is to make sure you do a good British accent. There are lots of tutorials online. Find one, watch a couple of movies, watch Sherlock, watch Doctor Who. Step 4A is learning Sebastian's character, and step 4B is learning J. Michael Tatum as a character. So I hope this was informative for all of you. I hope that some of you are able to take what I've said and imply it to your impression. Maybe you didn't want to do it, but hey, it's now you kind of have the steps to do it. Um, what I did with mine is I just listened to somebody else do an impression and then I copied theirs as well as step one and I just formed my own from there. I listened to Sea Dog VA do his and I got to a point where I was just doing a Sea Dog VA impression of C Dog VA doing Sebastian and it was pretty good. It was really good. It was weird. <laughs> so you know and I added my own things to it, like step four B. Which is, I think is something that nobody thinks about. Which is fine. 
That'll help you. And then you got to have your confidence. You got to be confident about it. If you're not confident about it, then you're not going to have a good impression. It's, it's just simple as that. If I'm not confident about my Sebastian impression, then it's not going to sound good. But if I'm being honest with you, if your impression sounds even remotely close to Sebastian, fangirls will swoon anyway. Just will. I've heard some pretty bad, pretty bad Sebastian impressions in my day. And fangirls still screamed at it. And I was like, really? But it just goes to show. You don't really have to try too hard to make a fangirl scream. Except for some of them. There's, there's, there are a couple. But <laughs> I hope you learned something. I would love to hear your impressions after this video. If you upload a video of you saying, I'm simply one hell of a butler, you saying whatever you want, a compilation of video, I would love it if you tagged me in them and saying, hey, thanks for all the help. My impression now sounds like this. What can I do to better it? Or just thanks for the help. This is about as good as I want to get. Or even if you already have one and you were like, yeah, thanks, I agree with this. Uh, I didn't think about this part. Or hey, maybe you could also add that this is what I do. If you ever think about do adding this part, I would love to hear your opinions. I'd love to hear your impressions. Just tweet them at me, at Tom Assurance, and I would love to see them, maybe react to them at some point. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, everybody.